I did not just pretend that I was falling asleep and then getting back up to turn off this video to actually go to sleep. <laughs> okay, good night, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> just getting ready for the gym now i listen to my body after the night shift when it comes to the gym if i feel too too tired then i don't go to the gym I don't like forcing my body especially after a night shift but today i've got a little bit of energy okay so i really do not care what i look like in the gym <laughs> i don't obviously you gotta do my morning skincare routine even though it's like four in the afternoon The last step to my skincare routine in the morning, even though after a night shift I still like to put my SPF, but this is only when I basically leave the house because people might think like, oh, it's gonna be like dark soon, blah, blah, blah. You don't need sun cream, but trust me, you do. I'm just doing my eyebrows quickly. This is one thing I do. I never rarely leave the house without any eyebrows because I look so different. <laughs> my, ugh, I don't know what that mark is. I don't feel 100% so I'm just wearing like my baggy top usually what I wear like when I do my glute workout I'm not doing glutes today I'm doing back possibly a little bit of shoulders as well so anyways let's go gym just finished my workout and i was in there for like an hour and 15 minutes this is actually quite good considering like i've just come from a night shift i only managed to film like some clips of my workout because obviously the gym was so busy because it's rush hour we are now going to go to tesco's i like to eat something very nutritious and high in protein because one i'm still trying to lose weight and two i need all the nutrients in me to get me back up into like a normal routine it's because honestly after a night shift you do feel like you're a slug or like you're a zombie anyways i'm gonna go to tesco's <laughs>
dinner since I woke up obviously so I'm starving but I thought I'll show you guys like a little haul from Tesco's so first of all this is the full move active vitamin drink it's got zinc vitamin b6 vitamin b12 and vitamin c I'm literally obsessed with these these are like the coconut water drink it's got like the pulp as well love it so I've got two of them I'm not going to use this today but they were on sale so these were 79p each two tender stem broccoli I just got it because I'm going to do my meal prep in a couple of days seedless red grapes it's only one pound and six p mm. baby leaf salad and this is only 35p Right. Nice. You can't really go wrong. Okay, so now for the fun stuff for my dinner tonight. So when I went to Newcastle, I had the Volcano Burrito and I absolutely loved it. I haven't tried Taco Bell ever. That was actually my first time and I found my new favorite wrap. So I wanted to recreate one, but less calories. I don't actually have an actual recipe that I'm gonna follow. I'm literally just gonna wing it. All the stuff I bought are already like cheap as well. I'm not, I'm not gonna buy an expensive brand because, you know. I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> I've got the Tesco refried bean, the cumin, tomato puree. This is with the hint of garlic. Chili cheese mix, El Paso taco like seasoning mix, lightly salted tortilla chips. Now, instead of having rice, I'm gonna make cauliflower rice and add some seasoning into it to make it a bit more spicy. Some cheddar cheese sauce. I was looking for the nutritional yeast, but they didn't have any. And apparently it tastes similar to cheese and it's got more protein, it's more healthy for you, but they didn't have any, so I just got this one bean beef steak mince someone recommended to use the mission wraps because these are actually quite big So we'll see how it tastes. I feel like I put too much in because it was so hard to wrap. Let's go. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm.
so whilst I wait for this thing to do its thing, I've got like another like couple of minutes. I want to show you guys what I got from Amazon because I've been so obsessed with like saving, budgeting like videos on TikTok. Literally all over my For You page is literally like that. So I came across this with this 100 envelope like saving challenge. So basically the theory behind this, there's a 100 slots in here which is what was all numbered and whatever the number is you have to put the amount of money in there for example like for number one you put one pound uh i don't know for like number 48 you put 48 pounds by the time you complete all the hundred slots or the envelope you will get like five thousand and fifty pounds all right let me take this off <laughs> Some people say that you do it for like 100 days, but I don't think that's actually quite feasible. You're pretty much looking at you're going to be saving like 5,000 pretty much in like space of what, three, four months or so. Obviously, unless you've got a lot of money, it's actually not feasible to do that. I love how it's got a tracker as well. It is a US like dollars, so, but it's same concept really. You will save up to 5,050 pounds. I love how it zips up like that. I'm not going to give myself like a deadline to complete this. And if it takes me two years to complete 5,050, three years, whatever then so be it. I do have like my own personal savings that I put away every single month but this one is just, I don't know, I just liked it. So. 